Yo, what's up bros and broettes? Today is going to be an awesome day. You know why? Because the weather is awesome. Like it's so good out here, especially in the shade and under the trees and everything in the backyard. Sure, the mosquitoes are out. That's why I covered my, oh, covered myself in bug spray and they still landed on me. Oh my gosh, these damn mutants. Mutant mosquitoes. Uh, but, uh, Today we are going to be installing the manual seat belts in the 240 and I am super excited about it because I'm not sure if, about you guys but I do not like the 90 era, the early 90 era sliding auto seat belts. They're terrible and then they come down and rub across your neck and all that crap and it's, it's just annoying and uncomfortable. So I grabbed some manual seat belts. Um, out of a B14 Sentra, which is from 1995 to 99. Uh, I was reading online and it's a very common swap for this is to use those and um, use them instead of the S14, because from what I heard, these are these bolt in a lot better. You use the second and the top and bottom bolt. And in the S14 seat belts, you can only use the bottom one from what I was understanding if I read that right online. Obviously, the ideal swap would be 180S X seat belt, but obviously those are a lot harder to find than going to your local junkyard and finding a 95 to 99 Sentra. So Sentras are, you know, a dime a dozen. So very easy to find, and majority of times they have seat belts in them. So uh, I was trying to find black seat belts, but I couldn't find any. All I could find were gray. So I just went ahead and said, screw it. The seats are practice. The seats are gray, and then the rest of the interior is black. So um, it will cut. Oh, on the sun. Oh, okay. So the actual uh, the headliner is gray as well. So I mean, it'll be a little bit of a a mix of gray and black. So it works out fine. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with uh, installing these seat belts, or well, uninstalling these auto belts, and then uninstalling those manual seat belts. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it, guys. Let's get started. All right, so first off, you're gonna want to go ahead and start uh, disconnect, uh, taking off your panels. And to do that, you wanna make sure that you get everything off that, uh, that you need to that's in the way, like how this seat belt, seat belt, this, uh, the upper portion of the back seat, this is what it connects to, so it can swivel, it swivels on this bolt. You gotta take that off. There's a bolt down here. Uh, there's typically a clip up here, but this one's missing it. And uh, it's also this railing piece uh, that you want to take off so you can get the plastic out from under here. Uh, you might actually be able to get away with it, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna take off this trim piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this out and just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this shit done. All right, so I got all the things out uh, that I needed that, that are on that I needed to get out. So um, when removing this, there's a lot of clips that hold it in place. So you definitely want to be careful when taking this out and try not to break anything. So let's go ahead and get this out. Time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see through your disguise Play it down Hope for something better Looking at the clouds The slither and the weather you get Now on to removing that, this trim Which actually should just be held in by clips Because if I'm not mistaken I removed this before when I had my other 240, I did an SR swap in it. And I had to remove this to do the uh, wiring. Yep, there you go. Last bit of it. And then and it should be, at this point, it should just be a few electrical connections and then taking out the uh, parts that hold it, which is just a bunch of, uh, from the looks of it, 10 millimeters that hold this assembly in. Then you got this big one, 10 millimeter or 10 millimeter. Uh, 14 Now now 
that I got this bottom part disconnected. Uh, I got another 14 up here, and then I'm gonna take off this uh, these little this piece right here is actually where that uh, cover piece snaps into. So you want to keep this this piece, and then this piece up here. You want to keep these because that's where that plastic trim snaps into, and then uh, then you have access to the bolts behind it to to, to take this rail out. So. up here that you need to undo as well this plug let's go ahead and <clears throat> come on there we go undo that plug and we can oh that actually attaches so then we got one 10 millimeter there one 10 millimeter here and here and actually not that one so here so three left and then this 14, and then this whole assembly will come out. strange because these do not line up at all even though everywhere I looked online said that they do so I'm going to look on my phone real quick to make sure I did get the right ones but these did come out of like a 90 I think they were like a 95 Centra that are 96 so I'm going to look to see what I did wrong because these holes do not line up at all so let's see what's up with that all right bros so um I Clearly got the wrong uh, seat belt stuff, so I'm <laughs> I jimmy rigged the bottom here. Um, I didn't have I don't have a cutoff wheel and a step drill bit, which I didn't feel like running to the store to go get, so I made do with what I had um, and drilled out a bunch of little holes, so I was able to get the um, the bigger hole. And then I drilled a bunch of holes across and then bent it and then so it would snap off the, the excess that I didn't need because if not then it would be getting in the way. So let's go ahead and make sure that this lines up right and then see if, see if it fits. Yeah. Like a glove. Damn. Alright. <laughs> That's awesome. It fits. So onward. What I need to do is take off this down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I gotta take out this part that holds in this. Oh, there's free money down there. Free money is always nice. So those are 14s. So I'll go ahead and take this seat belt real part this is a lat belt from the original seat belt system so go ahead and take that out I definitely feel like this is backwards somehow so I'm guessing that this got turned around at one point um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get that flip back around which I can which I know is always a pain in the ass to do so I'll definitely see about that so I actually got it flipped back around um, I'm gonna make a how-to video on how I did it um, so you guys can watch it um, it was actually very easy I, I kind of figured out how to do it 
I'm sure that there's other ones um, out there on YouTube, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I get this uh, uploaded and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and show, go ahead and pause this video and record that other video real quick. So, All right, guys, so I got my hole drilled. I don't know if you can see that, but obviously I don't have a big enough drill bit to uh, get it to size. So what I am going to do, so I'm willing to take my knife. I'm going to put it in there and I'm just going to turn it and carve out until I have my desired hole. So. We have our desired size. All right, got this attached. Um, I actually had to bust off the uh, uh, little clip that's right back there um, just to get the uh, bolt to actually reach. So, should be able to pop the rest of this stuff in now. So what I'm going to do now is shave some of this off just so that the seatbelt has a little bit of uh, clearance in there. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. When you take out this uh, the lap belt, there's two bolts. There's one up here and one over here. So none of them really work well with this with the existing hole. So what you'll probably what you definitely need to do is make is make a cut in your carpet and use I use the back hole um, that's that's what I that's the route I went you could always go a different route you could always use the front one if you want if that works better for you I decided to go with the one in the back so um yeah <laughs> but yeah manual seat belts guys on both sides so Got your manual seat belts. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, guys, I'm gonna make this real quick. These are some quick, easy tips for when you're doing auto automatic seat belts to manual seat belts on your Nissan 240 using the Sentra seat belts. Now I grabbed mine from like a '96 Nissan Sentra. Uh, obviously, the bracket was wrong from what you saw in the video. I had to modify them, but it's real easy. You just take the automatic seat belt real system you take that part the motor that's down there you take that line it up to uh, the bracket on the Sentra seatbelt reel system and then mark and drill at your bottom hole to big enough to where you can get a screw through there once you've got that done then what you want to do is use the bolt that came with this out of this out of the Sentra because it comes with the long, the longest bolt is in that from the Sentra you take that bolt you put it up here, use it with these big washers, and then it will be long enough to thread through. And then you've got that. Then you'll take the bolt that you originally had in this one and then move it down to here. Now with this, I showed you a little bit earlier, I put it in the back bolt with the 14, with the 14 top bolt that was originally up here. You put that down here. And then the bolt that I used for this was the bolts that and everything that was originally in the other seat belt for the original seat belt uh, click piece thingy. I took that bolt and put it in there. 
with that being said that's how I bolted up my manual seat belts um, that worked best for me without having to go by try and buy some additional bolts hopefully those are some helpful tips for you guys and uh, yeah on with the video What's up? so manual seat belt what manual seat belt get that out of here so manual seat belt done <laughs> on one side it only took me like three hours to do but hey the other side will go a lot faster which I will actually do tomorrow because I'm actually losing daylight so uh, yeah I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired so that is it for now guys uh, I'm glad that you guys tuned in and to see you know what I did you know yeah I'm tired so I'm having trouble thinking of how you know <laughs> can't even talk right but anyways uh, you know out here having fun so <laughs> uh, man oh man well one manual seatbelt done another one I'll probably do tomorrow and then probably knock out that back seat after I'm done. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow I'll probably also install the clutch line, which will be another video. So, and then I'll probably clean up the interior a little bit, get rid of what I don't need and whatnot. So, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Like, again, like I said, that's it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I know I'm rambling, but make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh... Yep, that's it guys. Peace out and never look back.